high references, secondary school, and I'm sure now this is just a and this every. And today we will be presenting to you about our project title, The Effect of Lactone Nitrate Solution on Hemianthus annuals, also known as sunflower. Nowadays, industries are releasing lead into the air and soil. In addition, some gasoline contain an additive known as tetraethyl lead, which is highly toxic and result in widespread lead exposure. Lead particles from these films settled in the soil and remain in the environment for years. Lead ions is a major pollutant that has been released to the environment since the Industrial Revolution. It has accumulated in different terrestrial and ecosystems. It is an extremely toxic metal whose effects on human health have been widely reported. Furthermore, lead at 500 ppm in soil is considered a hazardous waste. Maximum allowable level of lead in drinking water is only 0.05 ppm. Lead ions can enter the food chain via the plants and in turn affect the human's health. High accumulation of lead to ions affect both the growth and the metabolism of the plants. This phytotoxic effects of lead to ions contamination depends on its concentration, plant species, pH and other factors in soil. Excessive lead exposure can lead to mental retardation and behavioural disorder. The aim of this experiment is to address the lead to ions pollution in the world using phyto extraction. We can also hope that through this experiment, some flower can be used to phyto extract lead to ions in the tropical equatorial region for countries like India and South America. This project is based on the idea of phytoremediation, and under phytoremediation, we have phytoextraction, phytostabilization, phytotransformation and many more. We will be focusing on phytoextraction in this project. Phytoextraction is the use of plants to remove contaminants from the environment and concentrate them in above-ground plant tissue. Besides the current conventional site decontamination de techniques, phytoextraction is an in situ emerging technology based on the use of green plants to remove pollutants from the environment. Phytoextraction is economically feasible and produces more biomass with an added economic value. The other benefit of phytoextraction is that it allows the contaminated parts of the plant to be harvested. Therefore, we can harvest away the contaminated part and dispose them correctly while remediating the contaminated soil. Through this experiment, we wanted to find out the lead to iron tolerance of sunflower and the effect of lead to ions on half on sunflower in terms of height and survivability of the plant. We also hypothesized that growth of sunflower seedlings will decrease if the concentration of lead to nitrate increases. Our experiment has three phases, planting phase, lead to ion phase, and observation phase. In the planting phase, we planted five sunflower seeds in each petri dish covered with cotton wool. We then watered the 21 petri dish of plants with distilled water daily. After three days, which is after germination, the sunflowers are then grouped into sets of three, with a total of seven sets of plants. Due to the variation in the different seeds used, the seedlings are grouped into sets where there is an even mixture of tall and short seedlings. After that, we measure the total length of the seedlings in each petri dish using the thread and record the height of the seedlings and calculate the average height of the In the introduction of the lead 2 ion phase, we prepare the solutions of different concentrations of lead 2 nitrate ranging from 5 ppm to 30 ppm. After that, we water the seedlings with 20 cm cube of solution per petri dish daily. For the control, distilled water is added to the seedlings. For set 1 of seedlings, 5 ppm of lead 2 nitrate solution is added to the plants, and a subsequent increase of 5 ppm for the rest of the sets. We then observe the growth of the seedlings daily. Every two days, the height of each individual seedlings were measured, and the average height of the seedlings in each set were calculated. The number of seedlings surviving in each set was also noted. And now for the discussion. The data collected does not support our hypothesis. Qualitative observation made regarding the leaves of the seedlings turning yellow within two days suggested the chlorophyll level in the leaves of sunflower has decreased. In addition, the lead to ions also caused the stems to become thinner and weaker. Thus, seedlings with thin stems are flimsy and will not be able to survive for long. The seedlings that were watered with 0 ppm to 10 ppm of lead 2 nitrate for 2 days had an decrease in their average height, while the seedlings that were watered with 15 ppm and more for 2 days show an increase in their average height. This increase in the average plant heights of the plant may be due to the nitrate ions present 
in the lead to nitrate solution. Literature reviews suggested that nitrogen compounds, in, including nitrate, are major components of proteins, hormones, chlorophyll, vitamins, and enzymes we are which are essential for plant life. Therefore, the nitrate ion introduced to the cynics will remember the plants to grow taller. The effect of lead 2 ions may be stronger than the effect of nitrate ions in lower concentration of lead 2 nitrate, and the effect of nitrate ions may be stronger than the effect of lead 2 ions at higher con concentration. However, we cannot make any conclusion as yet, as the experiment has just begun and more data is needed to confirm our assumption. From 15 ppm to 30 ppm, more plants survive as compared to those of lower lead to nitrate concentration, but the average increase in the average plant height decreases. From this reading, we can see that the cynics in the high concentration, concentration solution have higher tolerance against lead to ions as lesser cynics die, but it retards the growth of the plant. In conclusion, the aim cannot be justified accurately as there are two conflicting factors. Lead 2 ions and nitrate ions. Lead 2 ions will kill the plant but nitrate ions will help the plant to grow better. Therefore, the effect of lead may be offset by the nitrate ions present at higher concentration. Generally, sunflowers are able to tolerate lead 2 ion concentration above 15 ppm while they experience poor growth in terms of height. In a nutshell, our experiment can be further improved by increasing the duration of the experiment as a longer period of time will show a more reliable trend of the plant's growth. We can measure the chlorophyll and protein level of the sunflower seedlings so as to get a more accurate effect of lead to ions on sunflower. Furthermore, we can expand our experiment and go on to investigate the relationship between the lead 2 ions and nitrate ions. It will definitely allow us to interpret the results more accurately.